Alright, let's see. So we have Renata Glass. Person you read the cycle name. Aatrox. Sweep sword damage by 10%. Pretty good buff. Not good enough. Amumu. Basically a better buff against Zari, pretty much. It's what I This is bronze buff. Arrow of Ash. Travels slower on short range, but basically after what? Three seconds it reaches max duration. Or much max max speed. This is better for long range snipes. Blitzcrank. Even after one second the arrow still travels faster, right? So Blitzcrank loses health region. Great nerf. Keep it up. This is the problem, yes. Mundo. Played a lot against a lot of Mundo. Super super passive early to mid game, but late game he's he's not a problem. Problem with like Mundo dies way too fast late game. AD growth goes down and then attack damage is basically down a lot because of it. An R cooldown goes a little bit up. Honestly, not a big nerf. This is like slap on the wrist. He's the same champ. Um, the only problem here is that I don't know what are they trying to do with it. Allow it. This is one of the most exciting changes. Attack speed goes up, just like they said, and then AD goes basically better scale, but she has super high AD. So base AD, she has one of the highest in the game, like top three. So this is gonna basically make her W deal much more damage easily. Um I might try a little bit next patch with Hoodbreaker especially. She should be really strong. Also Triforce. Kalista. Base armor increase doesn't matter. Lucian. Mana down doesn't also matter. Two mana, two, four, eight, six, eight, ten mana, it's just whatever. It's not the problem with Lucian. Lucian just Lucian's not the like they they even as far as I know they even decreased mana on W, so technically mana is not even an issue anymore. Nami. I mean it makes his lungs for start slightly stronger, that's it. Nami, um loses uh, gets five AD, five damage back on E, which is what she uh, lost. Doesn't matter. This type of buffs are just whatever. Nico. Last of a hitbox. Q damage goes up by 20 on rank 5, which is good for AP Nico. Since on hit Nico is not gonna max his ability. W cooldown goes lower by 4 on rank 1, which is pretty good. This is a buff for majority of the game anyway. I mean, it's buff for like most of the game, but this only matters for like first 13 levels, so that's good buff. And play Nico, your center H U A D. I don't get this one, whatever. Nuno Villamp. So they nerf him a little bit lower. I mean more than before, right? They they also decided to nerf his HP growth, so he gets a little bit less HP, which is also more of a solo nerf, because he levels up more. Um and then yeah, less health per consuming champions from AP. It's more of a Nuno mid nerf because it has high win rate, whatever. Kiana, please say the nerf her a lot. Kiana, Kiana, Kiana. 10% on passive. Lowered, and that's it. Whack. I thought they're gonna do more. Rumble, 5 armor. Rumble is weak, especially in top lane. Hmm. This is also a buff to mid lane Rumble, obviously, because of minion aggro. Interesting. We might see more Rumble. Buff is not a bad. Sat, 7 HP. He gets 120 more HP rank, in, rank 18. It's really whatever. Very small buff. More of a top lane buff with Hood Breaker. But yeah, Sat can't really be played in compared to. Veigar, did they nerf him more than I thought? No, they didn't. His late game armor is stronger, but he needs... He needs like... What is this, like 8 levels and then he's buffed, I believe? I think it's like at 8 levels it goes even or some shit. It's really whatever, 2, ner two armor doesn't do anything. It's just whatever. This is a bigger nerf to be honest. He loses 2 seconds on cage at early rank. Um, this is sometimes bad because sometimes you get that opportunity where you cast E off cooldown, but such champ is still OP, it doesn't matter. Fix a uh, tooltip to correctly say that last hitting enemy champion grants one stack. Okay, the no no cracks back. Fix. Zaya this slightly less that more damage and crit doesn't matter. Zari, these are huge nerfs. I wonder if people are still gonna pick Zari after this shit in compare to. Way less damage on Passu. 
Actually, no, this is just... Oh, so it makes our last hitting even better than before. But this is just... Just, just even less damage from basic attack. Then you have the zap damage. This is really important. The zap damage goes down. No, first, the slow goes down in early game. Higher rank, late game, that doesn't matter. Based on Q rank. Oh, this is based on Q rank. Oh, so the slow is only nerfed for like... First... Whoa, it's only nerfed till level 5, then it's buffed. Okay, never mind. This is a buff, by the way. What the fuck am I saying? It's based on Q rank. I thought it's level 1 to 18. Yeah, this is this is straight up buffed. This... I mean, the, the slow duration is buffed, but the slow length is nerfed. So, I guess it's overall it's still a nerf. Q burst fire. Down by 5 AD. Uh, now they can... Pretty Kashar can also multiply its base damage, so it's better to buy crit again. Access attack speed to AD conversion is now 60%, so... I think it's better to have more attack speed on her right now. So that's technically like whatever. W. Last low in early ranks. But you max this ability last and more less cool than late game. It doesn't matter, this is overall nerf. Uh, e Spark Search. Goes up in cooldown in late game and also has less reduction. This is the most biggest change, I think, on Zari so far. Like all these changes, this is the biggest one so far. This is gonna make Zari. This is gonna make Zari have so much less ease in the game because you have no idea how half a second matters and also two more seconds on W. It also makes maybe Zari build less Chai Force, uh, right? Ch the Chai Force build has the most CDR. Unless you go Essence River, but you reach it slower, so... This is huge, this is... She's just not gonna get multiple hits of fight anymore. Our Lightning Crash also less attack speed for some reason, no idea why. They're just trying to nerf her, this is definitely nerfs. They're not as big as I thought, to be honest, not reading into them. It's more utility nerfs than damage nerfs. It's just utility, utility, utility going down, way less slows, way less mobility. You burst fire crits will no longer trigger Navori. Tier of Goddess now correctly stacks as now cheats Q burst fire's basic attack and will no longer grant stacks when it's cast. So it basically Okay, so basically she can stack Q with tier now or, or what? Items. LA item pings now available. You can now display your LA item cooldowns and charges in game by pinging them an item icon in the tab scoreboard. You could still do that in the HUD before, so that doesn't matter, right? Ooh, this is new. Buying free rejuvenation bits has recently cropped up as a powerful item strat strategy. However, it offers weak early game champions a bit too much sustain without asking for enough trade of mid game. So we're talking about Darius, we're talking about Akali, Chindamar, the champions that have high base HP. Now, this doesn't matter as much, even if the nerf is shot because Doran shit exists. So now it costs 300, it gives more health regen, but the Salberg ratio is way weaker. What? This is such a nerf. This item is useless. No one buys this, unless you have to buy it into an item. Oh god, no one's gonna buy this shit. In a meta where you need items ASAP. You don't have time to spend luxuriously 30 gold and then sell it for 120. <laughs> this is so bad. This item is dead. Completely. Even before it was that, you could only start with it. Now it's just that, that. Crystallized Bracer. Which one is that again? Oh, it's this item. This item is so much worse too. So if you're buying Warmok, right? If you're buying Warmok right now, Warmok buys into this shit. And this shit buys into Regeneration. If you're buying Warmok, you never want to buy this item. You buy Giants and kill them, And then you buy that shit. For example... This is just nerf slash useless change. <laughs> wow. That's so bad. Was rejuvenation bits really that big of a problem? I thought it was just a smart thing in the game. And smart players got rewarded by building them. I don't understand that at all. Why would you ever touch that? That was such a cool little addition to the game. What the fuck am I watching? Jesus Christ. That item. Just remove it. Systems, support gold income. 
Oh, okay, so Riot added more changes to the patch that they just didn't, didn't want to tell you to keep it as a surprise. I think this is maybe something new they're doing now. So, okay, support item. Police nerf them. Let's see. I'm I'm God hoping it's a nerf. Oh, no, never mind. This is... Ah, oh, this is for smite gen. I'm stupid as fuck. Gold value bounties, aka CS bounties, are now based on the number of support gold income items on each team, rather than assuming each team has one support gold income item. That's a nerf. Enemy gold leads are now significantly less likely to lead to objective bounties activating if there are two. So it's less likely to get objective bounties. What? Or am I misunderstanding it? To receive diminishing gold from excessive 4 minutes per minute to 2 minutes per minute until 5 minutes. But these supports don't even lane, do they? Let me gold it. So no. Oh, yes. Okay, so so it is a nerf to channel top. Got it. So while this is a nerf, it's not a very big nerf, no? This slightly touches it. Like, I think if people play channel top and they think it's good, I don't see how this changes it at all. <laughs> like, how does this change it in any way? These are such small nerfs, they almost don't matter in my opinion. What? Objective bounties. Bounty linger period is 5 seconds after objective bounties fall off. Damn. That's a nerf to objective bounties, that makes it even worse than before. Because these 15 seconds can actually matter a lot. So they introduced objective bounties, but now they keep nerfing them. It's like, like, at what point are they even relevant now? I think people should kind of stop complaining about objective bounties. They're really not be that big of a deal. The only way objective bounties are shit is when you have three jargons stacked up and the other jargons are beyond fucking useless. Now let's say you have Ocean Cloud and an Infernal, which is, or something like that, on a shit team comp. That, that that doesn't really matter until you get the soul. And because you don't have the soul, the enemy gets objective bounties and then abuses the timing of objective bounties when they get objective bounties strictly because of jargons mainly. And then you can actually get some gold income back. And then on the fourth jargon, when they get the soul, your income starts coming online, you win the fight, and at that point onwards, you take over the game. That can happen. But that's also a byproduct of bad drafts. But objective bounties can only feel awkward when you get three dragons and the dragons feel like they don't do, don't do anything. And then the objective bounties are the ones who trigger the... And then the dragons are the ones who trigger the objective bounties. It's the only way objective bounty feels bad at current state. They nerfed it way too much.